Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. Uh, they return to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. For someone out there, you are being advised to break all toxic ties. Um, you are being told to detach from relationships that drain your energy. You need to prioritize self-care. So I don't know if you are stuck in some type of relationship with somebody i heard man to woman so you could be a man that's stuck in some type of relationship with a toxic woman uh, that has been fooling you playing with your mental uh when you try to break the relationship up she knows how to maneuver you back into it deceive you back into being stuck with her and this is a karmic uh, a cycle you've been going through for a long time with this woman and you are being advised to detach yourself i don't know who you are don't want to know because i don't want to get personally involved but i am uh being told to tell you to detach yourself from uh um uh, uh energies that drain you it's not just this woman but everybody else people that are draining your energy people you know that are not healthy for you because a lot of the times in life we know people are not healthy for us but because we've been around them for so long, oh, we've known Johnny for 10 years, we know Bess we've known Bessie for 20 years, but you know they're toxic as can be, and you're holding on to them, and every day they're draining you, harvesting your energy, and things like that. When they come around, it's lights out. Like, they're just off the light in your life, okay, until they leave again. And you know the next time they come back, they're going to be doing the same thing. So you need to detach yourself from uh, these unhealthy energies. You're creating soul ties with them the longer you are with them. So uh, I'm being told to tell you to prioritize self-care. Uh, we may have someone out here that's working very hard to invest in a queen of wands. So I don't know who this is. I want to be praying with caution on this message because I feel like I don't want to help the enemy. Um, I don't want to help the enemy because there's something where I feel like there are toxic people, karmic people that are watching terror readings and things like that. Um, <clears throat> and then you got the people with good intent watching the readings. The toxic people are watching so that they can stay ahead. So they know you got a plan to do something. They're moving ahead of you to stop your plans, block your plans and things like that. Um, so we may have someone that wants to invest in a queen of wands working to invest in the queen of wands wants to give a position to a queen of wands so that they can move on with their life so you may have somebody coming towards you to take you out of some type of situation that people have put you in uh is what i'm picking up on i keep remembering the situation i had with a butterfly where i took the butterfly out of a uh a, a, a kind of just a on on uh, unsettling situation and put the butterfly in like a better place so it could be very symbolic of your situation you could be the queen of wands uh, which maybe you're someone that's very confident very business savvy very uh beautiful as well maybe a, a little bit on the feisty side for somebody's taste uh, i don't i guess they don't mind if they're still coming in to invest into you and have you move on with your life and things like that it does seem like someone is coming in with a genuine offer to you so maybe they don't mind your feistiness because typically the queen of wands do tend to be very feisty bit of a firecracker and things like that very confident uh, and this is something maybe people have been trying to block you from receiving. And it's all out of jealousy and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so just just keep going. Whatever it is that you are being advised to do by the spirit around you, you, you need to keep doing that. Okay? And you're going to be in a very beautiful energy. There could be somebody behind the scenes that is trying to stop you from receiving this abundance. Stop you from receiving this position. Stop you from receiving this contract. This is what she's been doing for a long time. And she does this from behind the scenes. Um, so I don't know if somebody's going to find out what this woman has been doing. Because this is somebody that works from behind the scenes. And this woman is living in a lot of fear. 
Uh, she's very afraid of you and of you receiving some type of contract <clears throat> because someone is the opposite of you. <clears throat> Somebody is the opposite of you. Meaning, all of the traits that you possess that, that represents the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, she does not possess. Okay? She wants to have something. She wants something to be given to her. And she's afraid that you are going to be chosen. Okay? Um, but it's going to be some type of... Uh, I don't even want to say what it is is going to happen. But uh, victory is going to happen to the person that deserves it. So it could be this woman wants to say, oh, she has the degree. Because there's something that keeps coming up about degree. I have the degree. Uh, I'm more familiar with the field. I have the connections and things like that. And maybe that's why somebody is keeping her around because she has connections or whatever. Or she has de a degree. Okay? So it could be that's what she's using over this person. But I don't think somebody cares about that anymore. Her words may not may not even mean nothing to this person. And she doesn't understand that. Or maybe this is what's coming up. Like somebody's words don't mean nothing to a man uh, in a community, in a business, in an institution, whatever this is, possibly in a family. Her words don't mean nothing. It's that someone is seeing the facade of what it is that she's about. Like they're seeing her for the 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 fake. Like there's something this woman don't understand is that she know she doesn't know that somebody can see right through her. Like he's aware of what's going on, and she's still trying to have something go in her favor. It's like you know you're going up, like you're around somebody and they've done something and they don't know that you know, and they're still pretending to be. They're still pretending with you. That uncomfortable. Like that's you know like some of us we get secondhand embarrassment, like you don't you, like you don't realize they know the truth about you. It could even be that he knows the truth and she knows that he knows, but she's still doing something behind the scenes to make something go in her favor. But at this point, it's like, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? And like she's working very hard to make sure something goes in her favor. It's a tower coming for this woman. She may be in a tower already and there's another tower coming up. But it's something where it's like you'll look at this person like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Like, what, what, what is wrong with you? And she, like, someone is going out of their way to stop another person. For being given an option, for being given choices, like it, it, she's afraid, she's sad, she's mad that you have options. Like I've been out here trying to make sure she don't have any options. Nobody helps her. Nobody does this because it is a woman up against another woman. Nobody help her. Nobody do this. This is what she tells people: don't help her, don't help him. But I feel like this is a woman against another woman because I see the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. This is a woman against another woman. She does not like your independence. She does not like that you're self-minded. She does not like that you are authentic, you're here, you're eccentric, you're everything she wants to be but can never be because she hasn't put in the work to be that. But she wants to be you. She wants to be seen as you. I don't get the hypocrisy. It's like, is the person the bee's knees or are they not the bee's knees? Which one is it? It sounds like they're the bee's knees because you're out here desperately trying to be them. Okay? <clears throat> so it's like, she may even know that this man knows she ain't about nothing. Like, he's seeing right through her. <clears throat> and she may be trying to put on a facade and act like, oh, everything is okay. We're going to be friends. We're going to work things out. Yo ain't going to work things out. If that person is showing up in a Queen of Wands energy, yo ain't going to work nothing out. That Queen of Wands is not going to work nothing out with you. I can I can promise I can put my life on that. She ain't she is not. She ain't gonna work nothing out with you. She is not going to work nothing out with you. She don't want to talk to you. It's on sight when she sees you. You so you best not be around. You better not be around. That's all I'm saying. It ain't no working out. We're going to be working together. I'm going to go and say sorry. We're going to have closure. It ain't no closure. You and this person are never working together. It's the end. That that, that plan is a flop. The Queen of Wands? Uh-uh. Girl, please. 
They're very diplomatic, but to an extent, everybody has their limit. Remember, it's no work. You and this woman are not working together. And that's the truth of that. You're not working together at all. So I don't know what whoever, what this emperor is going to have to do to balance the situation out, but you two ain't going to work together. You're going to buy something the wrong way. This is what, this is why it's imperative, imperative to know thyself and be confident within yourself. Confident people don't move this way. You're insecure as heck. And that's it. that keeps coming out in these reads. You are insecure as heck. Exactly. You ain't working together. You're angry. You're throwing temper tantrums. You've been working really hard for things to go in your favor. But the way you went about something, it guaranteed a loss for you. You insured your own ending. You're bothered by somebody's strength. Trying to figure out how to deter somebody off of their path. If they keep going, we're going to lose this. They're making us look bad. Who is making you look bad? Somebody ain't even fighting with you. You're fighting yourself. It's a one-sided battle. You ever seen a gladiator in a in a, 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 a in the ring fighting himself? Uh, no, but you're like a gladiator fighting yourself. You're in there throwing punches. The crowds looking at you. Say, what in the world are we watching? Where is the second gladiator? Why is this person punching the air and, you know, throwing themselves on the ground and things like that? That's what you've been doing, darling. What are you doing with yourself? Darling, what are you doing? And then you want to be angry because somebody is still going to grow. Somebody is on their path. Like, somebody found their destiny. You don't know yours. But you're so determined to stop them from reaching their destiny, acquiring their, their, their birthrights, and things like that. What are you doing? This is embarrassing. It's a whole group of people that just got out here for no reason, no reason at all, because greed took over them, because uh, uh, jealousy took over them, hatred for another person took over them. All of you with this amount of hate in your heart for one person, and you don't see anything wrong with it. I heard somebody said, nope. Okay, you, you're about to find out. Just a, I'm telling you, a whole lot of just hatred, jealousy, envy for one person. And you don't even realize how crazy that looks. I'm telling you, that Queen of Wands, she is not working with you. The universe is making sure that Queen of Wands has wish fulfillment in one way or another. If they lose something, guess what? The universe is going to present them with something even better. This is like you steal $5,000 for somebody and then they end up with like $50,000. You steal uh, 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 $10,000 from them, they end up with $144,000. And then they're looking at you like, you know you still got to pay me my money back, right? And you're like, well, you got $144,000 now. It don't matter. I'm going to need my 5000 back. I'm going to need my 10000 back. Like you stole from somebody or you tried to steal from somebody and the universe is still blessing that person. You're crazy. You're crazy. Did somebody, I don't know who's around you, but if people care about you, they'll tell you to go get help. You need to go get mental help. You need to go get mental help. Because whatever you're doing, I don't think you understand how it looks. Because I always, every every read you come out, you're paying somebody. You're paying somebody. Like you even want to come in and pay this queen of wands to move on. They're not moving on. She's not moving on. They're showing up in the queen of wands energy for a reason. The Queen of Wands is not moving on. They're not accepting any bribery from you. I know you like to pay your way through everything. Oh, you know what? We crashed your car. Oh, you know, how much is it? How much would you like? Oh, you know, we killed your dog. How much would you like? Oh, they did what to your child? How much would you like? They did what? How much would you like? Nah, you ain't paying nobody to do... That woman ain't taking no money from you. I'm going to work... 
I'm going to work her and go in there and see if I can pay her to move on. No, she's not moving on. She's not moving on. Am I in your thoughts? Am I in your thoughts, darling? Oh, you're mad because somebody is still working. Still investing in themselves. What did you receive a message that someone is going to keep going? You've done everything to sabotage this person's investments. You stop them from having a promotion in life. You probably paid somebody's uh the company they were working with or something to not give them a promotion to not work with them to not treat them equally to bully them and they went along with it because this is how you move you are this intimidated and bothered by another energy like you got people giving you their power and you don't give your power away to the queen of wands and the queen of wands didn't even have to ask you for your power you just give it away naturally you say you know what you're you're beautiful you're smart you know, you're you're very talented, you're skilled, right? You're gifted. I, I don't like you for any of that, so I'm about to make your life H-E double hockey stick for you. And the Queen of Wands, you know she's probably gifted. She bombasts the side eye. You say, you know what? I'm going to let you do what you want to do <laughs> because I already know I got power over you now. So go ahead, go all out, go all out. Then you went all out. He said, I'm going to take money out of my account and I'm going to go pay these people not to work with you. And the Queen of Wands is sitting there scratching her hair like, are you serious that she's really going to take money out of that account to go pay that man so that he doesn't work with me? Oh, oh, is she paying my boss? Is she paying my co-worker? She's paying my mom, my sister, my father, my brother, my uncle. She's, dang. Well, she, I know she got a lot of money, but you know what? I'm going to see how long this goes. She thinks I'm going to give up at some point. If she turns the whole world against me, okay, let's see how long this go. You didn't know the whole time. Keep paying, keep paying, keep paying, keep paying. But I guarantee you, you ain't, you're not going to pay that Queen of Wands to quit nothing. That's against their contract. Okay, that's against their contract. Maybe people don't even want to work with you anymore. They're seeing you for who you are, a facade. Queen of Wands sitting. You know how the Queen of Wands be moving? Very confident. <laughs> they don't beat around the bush or nothing. They tell you exactly what it is. You're trying to get somebody to give their power away. Trying to take somebody's power away. I don't like how she talks. I don't like how he talks. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Somebody was a Queen of Cups. You forced them into a Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands energy. Now you don't care. Now you don't care to hear what it is they say or how they talk and things like that. This is what you asked for. You, you you ever bit you put you ever went in big bray and you didn't like the way it turned out because of the way like you did everything to the uh 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 uh, uh instructions right per your recollection you thought you had it all figured out how you were gonna destroy somebody so but that's gonna kind of like the process of baking the bread you got all the ingredients you mix all the ingredients maybe you follow the instructions with your mental I doubt you follow the instructions but anyways. You, you put in all the ingredients, mixed it up. I hope you sprayed the, the, the baking pan because uh, you like to cut corners. I, I, I picked up on you, picked up picked up on that with you. You like to cut corners. Hopefully you sprayed the baking pan, ma'am. You got the, the batter, you put it in the baking pan. You know, they told you to warm the oven ahead of time. You said, ah, it'll still bake. You went ahead and opened the cold oven, put it in there, turned the oven on. The, bear, the bread didn't bake evenly. <laughs> Because that's what happens when you turn the oven on. Uh, after you put the batter in there, the bread don't bake evenly. Okay, it, it, sometimes it ends up burning in some parts, and some parts just don't never get done. Anyways, you put it in there, you took it out. You said, What the heck happened? I followed the instructions. You didn't follow the instructions. The instructions told you what to put at what time. Okay, and to preheat that oven, they said to preheat the oven at 450 degrees. Okay, that's what they told you to do. But you said, oh, we don't need to preheat. Who needs to preheat? They told you to spray the baking pan. You said, oh, nobody needs to spray no baking pan. So now you got a bread that is undone. Really? Done in some part. Undone in some part. So basically it's undone. Nobody's going to eat no undone bread. Undone a uh, cake. Okay. And now you're in denial. You took the cake out of the 
the undone cake out of the oven and put it on top of the stove and you're looking at it like, why is it sinking in? Why is it doing that? Did you even test it, ma'am, with the toothpick? You're supposed to test it as it bakes. When the toothpick comes out clear, that means that the cake is done. You always put it in the middle. You stick it in the middle of the cake. And if it comes out clear, that means it's done. I'm a little extra. I'm going to poke it all over in this. <laughs> my mental. Because who knows, you know. I'm going to stick it in the middle and then stick it around just to make sure it's all done. You didn't do none of that. You just took it out. Cake is ready. And then the people working with you came to see the cake is uh Lisa. That cake ain't ready. What kind of cake is this? Undone cake. Uh-uh. You can't even put the icing on it because as you scrape, the, the, the batter is separating, so you can barely put icing on there. Like you you just I don't know what you did to yourself. You did this for money. You did this for clout. You did this for prestige, title. Because these are all the things that matter to you. The fine, fine things in life, as my people call it. You like the fine, fine things in life. You don't want to have to work for it. You cut all the corners you need to cut. You want to cut so you can have it. And then while you're doing that, you're stalking someone online. Aren't you too old to be stalking? Like, come on. Why do I feel like I'm talking to people that are older than me that should be teaching me these things in life? Why? And then you'll get online and say, I don't like how you, oh, you hire somebody to get in there. <laughs> you, you, you've been doing too much out here. Hiring people to get in there. Talking about, I don't like how you talk. I don't like how she talks. You're a grown person stalking another person online. You don't see a problem with that. You don't like how somebody talk click off. That's why I don't get about this, the, the, the new world we're in. Everybody wants to have two cents in somebody else's life, but they don't even have control over their own lives. They say, I don't want them to have that opportunity. Who the F are you? You don't even got anything to bring to the table. You don't even have a table. If somebody else didn't put that table in front of you, you forgot where you came. I Man, I can tell you about yourself. You forgot. You don't bring nothing to the table. You only have a table because somebody else Put that table in front of you. You forgot? Like I can I can expose you real quick. I told you these tarot cards are just souvenirs. They're, they're for entertainment purposes. I can look into your life and have you stuck in your mental. You want to talk about imprisoning people? I can mentally imprison you. Like you won't even want to step foot out your door if I expose some of your secrets. And the fact that I've been picking up on you for months now, baby, I know everything I need to know about you. So if I wanted to be petty, whoever, whoever you're coming after is one of my kind. So if I wanted to be petty and avenge them, baby, I can expose everything about you. And this would be you walking around, not wanting to be seen. I'm talking about who you don't sleep with, when you slept with them, where you slept with them, everything. Why you slept with them. Let's put that part in there. Or your dirty deeds behind closed doors. Who you sign contract with. Who you pay money to do this. Like I can tell you all of that. All. Oh. This, this is you. Too many secrets. Is this why you're trying to stop somebody else? Is that why you're trying to stop one of my kind from getting to their destination? Because what? They know all your dirty deeds? Oh. You picked, a, you picked a fight with the wrong one, right? You're mad because something is being balanced out. And you try to use some type of fear tactic on people. Oh, you, you're afraid of somebody you've been trying to stop and block. Because you know this person is freaking real. <laughs> it's like trying to get ahead of the competition. He says, "Sure, I don't stand no chance against that star seed. So you know what, baby, please. I'm about to destroy them. They can never come here. And you just thought it was all going to go easy peasy. Easy peasy. You saw somebody say, oh, it's another. I don't know if whoever this is, is a practitioner. If they're showing up as a queen of clubs. They're more than likely very gifted. They've been showing up as a high priestess. The magi like this person is very much multifaceted. Magician, hermit, 
temperance energy. So that means that they're very in a higher fan. They're very gifted. So you saw them, you said, oh, it's another creative person. We're going to take from them. Oh, he wants to work with her. He ain't never going to work with her. We're going to destroy her from behind the scenes. He'll never see her again, never hear from her again. He won't even know she exists, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to tell people she did this to me, even though I know she didn't do nothing to me. Isn't that what you did, darling? Baby, I can't expose your secrets. I'm talking about... From childhood, everything you did from here until you got here. It ain't been pretty. It has not been pretty. Pick your fights carefully. Sometimes there are some battles you should just walk away from. Even us light workers that know we have protection will see certain battles and will say, you know what? Hands off on this one. We're going to let them figure it out. We're going to let the universe handle this one. I think there's something about you living in regret about coming after a Queen of Cups. Like I should have never. Yeah, you're living in regret. You're living in regret about some type of action you took with a group of people against a Queen of Cups. Talking about I should have never came after this Queen of Cups. I took something too far. But I'm not going to admit that I took it too far. Nobody can ever find out that I uh, went overboard with this. That I abuse my power. That I've been bullying and stalking somebody I should not be doing this to. I, I misjudge somebody. Your secrets, baby, they ain't gonna stay a secret. It's all gonna come out. You may end up on the news, is what I keep being told. Being exposed front and center. Outcasted from your industry that you're trying to stop somebody else from stepping into. The industry that you don't even have the talent to be in. All you have is connections. You you, you got ahead to blacklist somebody. So I feel like you pay people. Don't work with this person. Don't work with this person. Make an agreement with me that you're not going to work with this person. You got in there and blacklisted them. So that when, if they were to even come into this field, this industry, no one would ever work with them. And they weren't supposed to know. Nobody was able to was supposed to find out that you had blacklisted a feminine energy so that nobody would want to work with them. So if this is like a medical field, she don't went to all the hospitals, the nursing home, home care agencies and told them not to hire you. Don't hire this person. They're a problem. And this is what some uh, employers do behind closed doors and people aren't aware of that. It's sad. They don't see a problem with it. They don't see a problem with it. They'll, they'll go from here to here to here to here to here. Or they'll form some type of alliance. Don't work with this person. They're, they're a problem maker. Don't work with this person. They uh, dropped a patient. The whole time, they probably didn't even drop a patient. Don't work with this person. They stole money from us. Probably didn't even steal money. Why do you all feel like that's okay? And then what if the same thing happens to you? What if it happens to you? What if you get blacklisted? You're angry because something is being balanced out for somebody, right? I mean, that's what it was always meant to do. That's how it was always meant to go. I don't know if this has to do with the celebrities. I keep seeing a two of wands out here. I don't know if this is somebody influential. I don't know what this is. Yeah, we're ending up with the, the wheel of fortune. Some type of con good karma is going to be playing out. Something is going to be balanced out. So the universe is protecting someone. I don't know if you're waiting for someone to go out in, go out of their house so that you can sabotage them, you can end them, destroy them, take them out, unalive them, to keep them from being from taking action uh, to balance something. Uh, if you are someone who is in the public eye, if you are like a business person, an entrepreneur, um, I don't know what this is, like a visionary or whatever this is. Like you're someone that works in business. I don't know if you collect talents or 
you have a good eye for talents and things like that. I don't know what you are. You could be someone that's in the public eye. You could be a diplomat. You could be a business owner. There's something where it is that when you leave your home to go and do something, you, like you're planning on extending a friendship to somebody. You're planning on extending some type of offer to somebody. When you are on route to do that, they are planning on doing something to you to keep you from taking action and balancing something out, to block some type of destiny from playing out. So if you are someone that's planning on going towards a queen of wands, be very careful how you do it because there's some type of plot against you to stop you from doing that. It could also be like they're, trying, they're planning on doing something to this queen of wands when they leave their home to go somewhere, okay? They're going to go in there and do, do them something. It's like they want this person to keep investing into something and nothing ever comes out of it. This is a different level of insecurities these people are dealing with. And at this point, I don't, I feel like for them to heal from it, Jesus Christ, since they want to pretend to be religious, these false religious people, Jesus Christ will have to come down from the sky and touch each and every one of them and tell them your sins are forgiven. Be free of your burdens or something like that. Because at this point, there's nobody on earth that can help these people. Especially this Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords Reverse. Nobody can help them. This is how they will always be. It's kind of sad because it's like these are older women coming after a younger energy. And I don't know if like they don't they don't see the insecurity or the like I don't know what word it is. There's a word I'm supposed to use, but I don't know what that specific word is. It's like at this point I'm kind of just speechless myself. But the, this level of insecurity, nobody can help these people. You can't negotiate with these people. You cannot talk sense into them. These are like empty vessels. You 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 seen a you know like a black hole, it's like you're talking into a black hole, but there ain't no telling what's happening. It's probably just in, it's gone. It's gone. It's literally gone. Like like think about even just going in out of space and speaking. The words are just gone. Maybe there'll be gravity is gonna be taking this. It, it it is just gone. It's just gone. I don't even know how to use that metaphor to emphasize how like empty these people like these are empty. Empty people. Logic is logic is not applicable to these people. This woman, out of everything she's done, losing money and all of that, she is still paying people behind the scenes to do something to somebody. And this is someone that'll be walking around pretending like everything is okay. She has gotten over it. She's she didn't let nothing go. She don't plan on letting something go. And it's not like somebody did anything to her. She's gonna keep going until she loses everything. Okay. So if you are the one that's trying to come towards somebody to assist them or to bring something to their attention to get them out of something, be very uh, 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 vigilant about how you do it because there's something where it's just like someone is unhinged and she's still trying to push this narrative that someone has to pay for something. Nobody did anything to her. But she feels like if she keeps saying she has to pay, she has to pay that people are going to start again believing that somebody did something to her. Nobody did anything to her. She has to pay. Ah! Like, just immature. This is like how kingdom gardener be, gardeners behave. When they don't get their way, they throw a temper tantrum. But this is a grown woman doing this. A grown in age. Kingdom garden immaturity. That this is somebody that's trying to prove that she's the, like an opponent of a, a high priestess. She's not even a worthy opponent. Is it trying to prove that you and someone are in competition, but you're not even in competition? Is that someone with no gifts competing with somebody with gifts? How does that work, Sway? You're not a worthy opponent. Somebody in here is talking about fighting. Like I said, you're not a worthy opponent because your mental is in the wrong place. 
your heart is in the wrong place. Your, everything is in the wrong place. Like, who the heck is talking about fighting? I want to fight her. What the heck? Fight her for what? Her birthright? What belongs to her? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with these people? Like, who? who oh, my Lord. I'm out. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. See you in the next week. Goodbye for now.